I'd like to thank my guest, Roger Vandette, and you should all consider going to the Alleyway Theater and their presentation of A Christmas Carol. They do a tremendous job, and it's a good time for everyone. And now, in this wondrous time of the year, this time of celebration and family, I'd like to reflect a little on that part of the season that sometimes gets lost, because it's just plain old hard to think about this time of year. The people out there that are having a hard time in life. Sometimes it's health problems, sometimes it's money. A lot of things can bring sadness into one's life this time of year. Sometimes it's our own fault and sometimes it's out of our control. I'd like to tell you a story. It's, it's a true story and it happened right here in Buffalo some 30 years ago. I was working at Channel 4 News and it was a couple of days before Christmas. In the news department, we received a letter. It was uh, this letter. We never made a story out of it, but we, well, let me, let me read the letter to you if I can get through it. Dear Channel 4, I saw Santa on your TV channel. Could you give him my note? I would have sent it to his address, but I don't know it. My mom knew it, but she died on Thanksgiving Day. Thank you. Mike, I won't give his last name. Santa, my father told me someone has to pay you for the toys you bring us. Well, over a year ago, my father lost his job. Now, I understand why I didn't get that much last year. On Thanksgiving Day, my mom died so I probably won't get anything this year. Some kids at school tell me there's no such thing as Santa Claus, but we know that's not true. I believe in you, underlined. I also believe you are a very kind person. So could you please not charge my father as much so I can get something this year? If you can't, I understand. Also, could you make it snow? My mom liked White Christmas. Thank you, Mike. P.S. Say hello to Mrs. Claus and the reindeer for me. <clears throat> so, to little Mike, you're all grown up now. That was a pretty rough time. I can only hope that it got better from there. To all the little mics out there, all the little ones and the not so little ones that might be having a tough go of it right now. As sad or as dark as things might seem this time of the year, when we're all expected to be so happy. Remember that somewhere out there, there's something or, or someone that's going to come into your life and bring better things, guaranteed. And for the rest of us, if this story puts you in the mood to reflect, go ahead, it's not that hard. After all, what Christmas is really all about is right there in front of us. It's in the name, Christmas. It's about a man a man who brought love and kindness into the world, a man who gave much more than he ever got. And that's what it's all about.